past week started with the outlawed PKK carrying out its most deadly terror attack since the PKK unilaterally ended the ceasefire on July 11th. It claimed the lives of 16 soldiers in Dalija in the southeastern province of Hakkari and led to protests nationwide. And in the district of Jizre, which PKK militants had attempted to take over, a week-long curfew was lifted towards the end of the week. The government said PKK attacks on security forces there killed nine civilians and seven militants were also killed. The AK party held its sixth main convention ahead of the November 1st early elections. Prime Minister Ahmed Davutoglu got re-elected as party leader. The youth wing of the Nationalist Movement Party has called on its supporters to stage more protests against the PKK. It happened when the chief of staff confirmed 16 soldiers were killed in an attack by the outlawed group in Dalija in southeastern Hakkari province eight days ago. The PKK, which is listed as a terrorist organization by the US, EU and Turkey, also killed 13 policemen last week by detonating a bomb in Urdur. The Turkish Air Force has carried out major airstrikes on outlawed PKK camps in northern Iraq, including Kandil, Hakruk, Avasin, Metina, Basyan, Gara and Zap. More than 50 F-16 and F-4 aircrafts were deployed on the missions overnight. Special military units entered northern Iraq earlier this week to pursue militants from the outlawed PKK back to their camps. With the latest terror attacks over the weekend, the number of security officers killed in PKK attacks has risen to 113. Throughout the week, scores of people took to the streets to protest against acts of terrorism. Meanwhile, the HDP's co-chair Selatin Demirtas was condemned on social media under the hashtag of Killer Demirtas over accusations he has caused division among people. After nationwide anti-terror protests, HDP party buildings in several provinces were attacked by extremist nationalists. The attacks were condemned by all political leaders. HDP leader Demirtas called on supporters to retaliate who drew ire of prosecutors after telling his followers to make the protesters regret the day they were born to an extent allowed by the law. Diyarbakir Public Prosecutor's Office launched an investigation against Demirtas for his controversial remarks and accused him of openly instigating crime and making propaganda for a terrorist organisation. Security officials were put on alert after the PKK declared autonomy in several districts in preparation for a civil conflict. In the Jizre district in Shirnak province, a week-long curfew was issued over concerns for the security of residents. Armed militants and members of the YDGH, the youth branch of the PKK, infiltrated some parts of the city and engaged in clashes with security forces, putting the life of civilians in danger. The PKK terror attacks there on civilians claimed the lives of nine people and many others were injured. Officials also confirmed seven militants were killed in clashes. Leila Imret, the mayor of Jizre, was dismissed by Turkey's interior ministry over her comments to a foreign news outlet that called for mobilization for a civil war. She is accused of saying the conflict would start in Jizre. Over the weekend, curfews were also implemented in the Sur and Silvan districts of Diyarbakir after YDGH militants dug trenches and set up barricades in preparation for clashes. Shortly after the curfew, a police officer was killed in an armed attack and seven officers injured in clashes.